blessed Friday to you as we come with your daily encouragement. And we are in uh, 1 Peter chapter 2, and we are at verse 21. Now, as I've said, these are controversial because they're dealing with slavery and submission. So we're going to talk about those as we um, get on to it. I think slavery is more kind of out of the realm because in many ways we do not have political slavery anymore, or at least officially we don't. If they had exist, it's been usually um, enslaved trafficking and other things that we are just to fight against. But these are examples of starting where you're at, starting with submission to the rules that be. Pray about ways that you can escape those things, but more importantly, pray in ways that you can be a better witness, such as Paul, who was under house arrest. We might say unjustly at the end of Acts, but yet was free to preach the word of God. And so it says in verse 21, For to this you have been called, for to this you have been called, to slavery, to take up your cross, to not count equality and freedom of God and forgiveness of sins, something that will give you the right to have no boundaries. No, he gives you the right to be submissive to the situation God has called you. It might be a job, it might be a relationship, it might be to even some of your family members, maybe even your church members. Here's a controversial idea. Many people have many complaints about their church. Even some pastors do. I, I won't say who, but there are situations we find ourselves where we are in difficult family situations and difficult churches. And so sometimes, because of our freedom of religion, we'll say, hey, I have every right to not go to church A, and I'm going to go to church B because I'm going to have my freedom. I'm not going to do all this other stuff. And they and, and I've had members who come to me and they say, and I'll tell them, God bless you. And, you know, they're, and they'll be surprised. And it's like, I, I'm saddened, you know, but I can't stop you. But... Pray about this. Is it your desire to move to the other church based on your calling from God or from your innate desire to just get out of a difficult situation? And I'll tell you, there's no perfect answer to that. Every move I have made, I've often had in the back of my mind, is this God's call? Or is this just me trying to get out of a difficult situation? And it doesn't matter if you're a pastor. I think it's the same if you're a lay person. Sometimes, because we have so much better marketing of other places that are near and far, it is tempting to always go to the grass greener, or we used to call in the Twin Cities, church hopping. because. It just was the thing to do. I know of someone very near and dear to me. I can't tell you how many churches this family has belonged to over their lifetime. And I always used to joke about it with certain people. It would change. It wouldn't take long. They found their best church ever. And two weeks later, it was not the Garden of Eden. Now, my friends... There are extreme examples of this. We dare not follow them. What we do need to follow, and I'm not saying that if God's calling you, if you think that you need to go to another place, go to that place. But I would ask you to say, is it my desire to get out of a difficult situation or is it truly from the Lord for me to go to another place? same goes with denominations. The same goes with other situations. We need to be careful that we are doing God's will and not just my will in God's name. And so it says very clearly, For to you who have been called to the slavery, because Christ also suffered for you, leaving you an example. Remember, Christ could have stayed in heaven. 
But did he count equality and heavenly equality with God something to be grasped? Absolutely not. He came down. He took the form of a slave so that you should follow in his steps. So let's talk about the church thing, the church switching thing. We live in a free country. Everybody has the ability to go to another church. Even countries that are officially Catholic and Lutheran, and there are, yeah, I always have to tell, remind Lutherans, Scandinavian countries are almost exclusively Lutheran, but they have a lot of people who are dissenting now. They aren't as obedient to the the place, and neither are Catholic countries. There are many Protestants who are practicing their faith quite well in some other denomination-oriented countries. And there are some countries, I know this is a hard one to believe for Westerners, that are even practicing their faith well, even in some Islamic countries. I knew of a missionary who actually worshipped Jesus, did not feel ever compelled to submit to Islam, but yearned for hearing the five um, calls to prayer each day. She said it was more hard to be a Christian in Western countries where there wasn't that taking time five times a day to worship the Lord. She found a freedom even in a very restrictive country. So you had to just kind of open your minds to that fact. We have a great freedom but it also means a great responsibility. Are we only going to a church because it's convenient for us, or is it the church that God has called us to? And when we feel called to leave a place, are we doing it to escape a pressure that the Lord is leading us into, or just to alleviate our conscience? Or is it because God has truly called me to a new place? That is the thorny questions that we need to wrestle with in this example. Because it says on my title here, this is the example of Christ's suffering. And it is the example of Peter and Paul's suffering. And is the example of our suffering. Are we? doing servant leadership? Or are we just expressing our political rights, which we have every right to do? But it might not. It might not be God's will for your life. That is the great challenge of freedom that we have. Because we have the freedom not only to do what is right, we also find ourselves in the freedom to not do what is right. And that, my friends, is the greatest tragedy. God bless you today. We trust that these continue to be words of encouragement. Join us this Sunday for worship, and we'll see you back here next Monday. Take care.